All right, guys, Bass Mill 96 here, back again with another episode, showing you guys how to wintertime crankbait fish. Going to be showing you my favorite lures to fish in the winter, why I fish them, what makes them good wintertime crankbait lures, what sets them apart from crankbaits I would use in the summer, stuff like that. So stay tuned, guys. Going to be an awesome episode. All right, guys, there's three main crankbaits that I fish in the winter. Two Rappler crankbaits and one striking crankbait. This one you might notice from my uh, video we just shot in Missouri. Throwing the uh, striking flat side KVD 1.5. This thing is an awesome crankbait. I caught my biggest crankbait bass ever because I don't fish crankbaits too often. But when I do, you, they're pretty good for me for the numbers. But uh, catching the quality size fish is sometimes a struggle. Especially up here in Illinois. It's not a great state to crankbait fish down like down in the south. So uh not a ton of rocks up here. It's mostly grass banks, stuff like that. But uh, in Missouri, as you saw, Lake of the Ozarks, it's almost all rocks, all bluff walls. There's pretty much no grass in the entire lake. And the fish were schooling up on shad. So I was throwing the KVD flat side. The water temperature was cold, but what makes this a great wintertime crankbait is it is flat. So it's got a super tight wobble. It's not going to be darting all around, making really wide action where fish are going to have to chase it down. It's going to stay pretty, pretty on track. And the fish aren't going to have to move a lot to get this bait. So <clears throat> it's an awesome wintertime crankbait. And uh, those big fish, they were just absolutely loving it. Caught a five pound, two ounce on it. Probably my all time favorite winter crankbait. Two of my other ones that I also enjoy fishing is the uh, Rappel Shad Rap, which I didn't throw in Missouri. I actually forgot I had a couple of them in my box. Didn't tell. I might not even brought that box to be honest. But uh, this one was super slender. This one also has a really tight wobble and it gets down there like eight to ten feet about too. So another awesome wintertime crankbait fishing, and what both of these ones, what's the what the DT series has to offer, and the uh, Shad Rap series, they are both balsa too, which even it makes it even more subtle of an action too, because this one's actually still a plastic bait. And then besides the, the the flat side and the Shad Rap, I also like throwing the DT series, which this is a DT six. They run uh, DT four, six, ten, I think. Uh, so they shoot straight up to twelve. 16 20 something like that, but you could pretty much cover the the one the reason I like throwing this one is I could cover my entire depth range like the 1.5 is probably my favorite, but this one runs eight feet and that's it They have no other baits no other depths for the uh, flat side of KVD So if I'm gonna be fishing in about like six to ten feet of water I could probably get away with throwing this bait here depending on my line size and whatnot you want to be barely ticking the bottom this one I think runs eight to ten. I'm not sure exactly, but pretty much the same depth range I could fish these two. But the thing about the DT series is I could cover the entire water column, whatever I want to fish, just just choose accordingly. If I want to fish in four feet of water, DT four. If I'm gonna be out in twenty feet of water, fishing ledges for some really deep wintertime bass, throw in a DT twenty. But another balsa bait, got a nice tight wobble, and that's really what you're gonna to want to look for in a wintertime crankbait, guys. You're gonna want a tight wobble, balsa baits are always a go to. I know a ton of guys throw the original wiggle board. I don't have any. I just got one of the newer plastic ones, and I wasn't a huge fan. Don't shoot me. But uh, I know that the majority of guys, they like throwing the uh, the original one, which I think they were completely different. They changed the entire uh, mold, and they don't really run the same way anymore. So, But uh, three baits that I would go for, guys. If you're going to be fishing about eight feet of water, KVD flat side all the way. Otherwise... Go with the uh, Rappalas. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to be another episode. Subscribe if you like this video. Got a ton more coming out, guys. Going to be making at least two every week, as I said in some of my previous videos. So just stay tuned. Look out for more videos. And catch you guys next time.